Okay, boom, viewers, welcome back to the channel. Subscribers and already know all the things set. Bless. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. But you know my style. One bag a bag and the one I gotta continue getting the daily updates on the people you see and don't see on the screen. That's why it's extremely important to watch it. And with that being said, let's just kick it off with Miss Kitty and Mystical the Menace Vibes Cartel Newest Gaza Dali. You see me a sec, you know him, I push her hard from her day, yeah. And put on a music video and all of these things. So you know, sir, the followings get enough and the popularity rose. You see me, I say, well, she's not really a popular people amongst the people them on social media. Um, for whatever reasons, you see me, I say, and she gets in at some things. And then, you know, start disrespecting 9 to 5 workers because they started disrespecting her, as you can see. That's why she, um, you know, made the talk with they, yeah. And obviously, it went viral and Miss Kitty took it up upon her head. You know what I mean? For disrespect, the girl at Chris Brown, um, you know, concert the other day, you feel me? While, you know, empowering women. So, these are the screenshots from her story. When I can press pause and read it. But this is what Mystical had to say also to Miss Kitty. Oh, you come bucket human toilet. Why you had to go on a big ass Chris Brown stage show to talk about me with your dumb ass? A woman of so much substance. I you have to come talk about a girl with half your blood clot age. Miss, I'm not really familiar with you because I is young. Miss, a young girl. If night could have come down your bed sheet, them could have talked. The people then would have surprised you. Fuck. My young wild and free make me do my blood clot wand with my front. The fact that you have a blood clot batch body with favor the dead when it fucking swell and y'all worry about licking neat body me is crazy. Since no man now can't for your chance to them and use a woman with such class and morals and substance, where is your fucking husband, Miss Piggy? Where is he? Cause me never seen a man out of road with you yet. Me never see a pop out with the man yet. The man them believe in I mean naturally. Y'all faves two, not one, not two, not three. The man them cheer for me naturally. The boy them believe in a mystical, like them believe in a them guns and them fucking drugs. Move your wisdom teeth looking blood clot. Anyways, it's a perfect day. So I'm going to cancel my tonsil them. So I'm going to have the whole day for tracing you. But if you tell me thanks, because this is the most bells your name ring in the media for a while. Go find a man for fuck out your old throat and your old pussy. You miserable old fuck. And she also posted a video with, you know, her newest hubby, you know, Lincoln Tree that. You know, basically because he goes through the same thing. When them bother him and them response, he might uh, you know, the one that's always vexed and a bad person. So you say something about my work now, me making out, say boom. You work at call center, you work at Popeyes. I remember say, remember say a taxi, your mother, I to ride up and down in every day. Then them vex when you say it. And for the record. Yeah, so I'm putting out a comment section what you think about that. She's admitting that she's a menace to society. And if you wanted to know what uh, Miss Kitty said, let's take a listen. By the way, boom, 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 address something. Can you know Miss Kitty come about substance and not just hype, right? So I see a thing of going on the internet. We have some girl and some boy. We want to shame people who have 9 to 5 work. No, me never know. I see it's way to have a 9 to 5 work. It's a shame. When you have your honest job, your legal job, your good job, you're supposed to be proud. And everybody has to be boss. And everybody has to be owner. Somebody has to be the customer. And somebody has to be the worker. Somebody has to just reach out to the young ladies tonight. Don't make no girl in on a two o'clock. And no belly button drop out. You hear me? I'm proud of 
Gucci, Sushi and Paluchi and they were pretty tight. Now, Futter Hype is being bashed for wanting Massacre and, you know, Idonia to clash lyrically, obviously, um, after they, you know, showing the world that, you know, they're not enemies no more. You know what I mean? They're basically brothers, dancehall brothers, musically speaking. You see me, I say, and the people them say, why would Futter Hype want to bring this type of darkness in a Jamaica? You see me, I say, given the climate. You know what I mean? Because if them post a class and to see who the bodies is, you know, say, as some tall up, tall up thing, I go come out in other month. You know what I mean? But nevertheless, the people them want to see Spice and Shinsia, um unite as well as Vibes Cartel as Alkaline. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's ever going to happen, you see me, I say. But back to Futa Hype, the people them not in on him, you see me, I say, because him just want to cause mischief. You see me because this is definitely a good look for dancers and promoters. You know what I mean? Massacre, Idonia, on the same lineup. You know what I mean? As you can see, the people and myself collapse for Guana and no clash. But Futa Hype is the boss of, you know, music, and this is where he makes his money, you know, obviously during the clash. You see me, I say so. And that's why he's really pushing. Um, this beef, you know what I mean, lyrically speaking, and he's calling people dunce. And uh, you know, Futter Hype was responsible for, you know, saying, you know, Governor and Massacre, they get in the fight one time. You know what I mean, he was what's responsible for. Uh, for Idonia, this saying, you know, Mavada, in other, you know, the 45 shot thing, shot 45, the rhythm that Futter had to produce a couple of years ago. You see me, I say, and in disrespect, my father both saying, foot out of the for cassava piece and all of these things. And you say, I don't, yeah, my father, you know. You know, so you know, a dance hall is looking good. The promoters, them, is rubbing their hands and saying, you know what, we can finally get a good lineup. And, you know, people, them, can come spend their money and see some good things. You see me, I say, but speaking about Chris Brown, Strong, and I don't, you The show, it's a love. And now's the time to beg the promoters, them, if you know them. Because a beer money maker, as you can see, the, the, the stadium ram. You see me, I say, not sure if it was as ram as, you know, Bujo Bantan. Um, I'm pretty sure Vibes Cartel would be more, you know, rama. <laughs> you see me, I say. But nevertheless, the people, them, is calculating the profit. So let's take a look at what I'm going from that to go on. This person said 40,000 patrons, average ticket average, you know, $10,000. 400 million Jamaican dollar that. Um, which is about 2.6 million US dollars. This just ticket, Cabana sales. Chris charged 500,000 US dollars and they made that all cash. It's a mercy, but some people are saying your numbers are wrong. Um, but this person said, estimate what are the numbers. It's a mercy, and the people them say you have to calculate, you know. You know, the artists and, you know, other expenses associated with producing this show. They may have just broken even or loss. You cannot just look at the size of the crowd. And, you know, some media here said they had like a 90% sale on the tickets. It's similar. I said, I'm not sure if that's true or not, you know. Uh, but in my honest opinion, me think that your stadium could have more fuller. It's similar. I said, and this is good promotion for whoever threw um, this event. You know what I mean? Me don't know, you know, people. Me never account up the money. Me just like giving a while go on for not to go on out there. So I don't put in the comment section. Do you think the promoters then made money? I think they did because, let's be honest, um, at the elite run Jamaica, you know what I mean? It was probably free to rent the stadium and all of these other stuff. <laughs> you see me? I said, them probably keep up Chris Brown and I want to bush that hotel for free and all of these things. And I don't know. I be a money make out of these hotels and all of these things, you know. So the lot of poor people in Jamaica for just, you know. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Anyway, people. And that is another topic because the people them seeing this, the people them in the diaspora is kind of upset at their family in Jamaica because them swear that so Jamaica did broke. And judging by the concert, and I love Monica, you don't see the people that might calculate the things. But anyway, just remember for like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I may mean, drop the latest in a dance on news, musical reviews, and gossips. Bless.